2025, 2026, 2027. Three years that will fundamentally rewrite the rules of computing, cryptography, and human capability itself. And what I'm about to share with you, even the top quantum physicists are shocked at how fast this is moving. This isn't about some distant sci-fi future. This is about what's happening right now in laboratories across the world and why the timeline just accelerated by decades. I've gathered up everything that's happening and I've put it together in this one powerful roundup video for you. Today, we're diving into quantum computing, a technology that just crossed the threshold from interesting research to holy crap, this is actually happening. Hit subscribe because what's coming will determine whether you're prepared for the next phase of human civilization or blindsided by it. So here's a full recap of what has actually happened in quantum computing that changes everything. Google's Willow chip achieved something that should be impossible. It completed a calculation in five minutes that would take the world's fastest supercomputer 10 to the 25th power years to solve. That's 10 septillion years. The universe is only 13.8 billion years old. Let that sink in. But here's what's really wild. They didn't just make a faster quantum computer. They solved the error correction problem, the one thing that's kept quantum computing in the lab for 40 years. See, quantum computers have always had a fatal flaw. The more qubits you add, the more errors you get. It's like building a tower where every floor you add makes the foundation shakier. Scientists thought we'd need decades to solve this. They did it in 2024. Google's Willow chip demonstrated below threshold error correction meaning adding more qubits actually reduces errors. This is the difference between a science experiment and a revolution. And they're not alone. IBM just unveiled their roadmap to 200 logical qubits by 2029 and 100,000 qubits by 2033. Microsoft demonstrated 24 entangled logical qubits, a record. Amazon launched their first quantum chip. The Chinese government committed $140 billion dollars to quantum development. This is the pattern I'm seeing. First, we cracked quantum error correction. The physics problem became an engineering problem. Second, we're seeing the first documented cases of quantum advantage where quantum computers beat classical supercomputers at real world tasks, not just benchmarks. Third, investment exploded. Three seventy-seven billion dollars in equity funding in 2025 alone, triple the previous year. When NVIDIA, Google Ventures, and JP Morgan Chase are pouring billions into quantum computing simultaneously, they're seeing something we need to understand. So let's break down what's actually coming in the next three years. 2025, the year of quantum advantage. This is the year quantum computing moves from impressive demos to actual business value. HSBC used IBM's quantum computer to improve bond trading predictions by 34% over classical methods. Ford cut scheduling times from 30 minutes to under 5 minutes using quantum annealing. IonQ achieved a 12% speed up in medical device simulation. These aren't marginal improvements. These are the early signals of a complete technological phase shift. The quantum computing market reached $3.5 billion in 2025 and is projected to hit $20.2 billion by 2030 a 41.8% compound annual growth rate. For context, that's faster than the internet's growth in the 1990s. 2026, the year of quantum as a service. This is when quantum computing becomes accessible, not just for tech giants, but for any company with a cloud subscription. IBM, Microsoft, and AWS are already offering quantum as a service, cloud-based access to quantum computers without needing to build your own. Just like you don't need to own a data center to use Amazon Web Services, you won't need a quantum lab to solve quantum problems. The industry is building hybrid quantum classical systems, combining traditional supercomputers with quantum processors to solve problems neither could handle alone. Fujitsu and Riken are building a 1000 qubit machine by 2026. Atom Computing is scaling neutral atom systems with DARPA backing. SciQuantum raised $1 billion to build utility scale photonic quantum computers. 2027, the year everything changes. 
This is when quantum computers become powerful enough to break current encryption standards. And before you panic, yes, governments know this. That's why NIST released three new post-quantum cryptography standards in 2024. The White House is preparing executive actions to force federal agencies to migrate to quantum-resistant encryption before fault-tolerant quantum computers come online. But here's the real story. Experts estimate this transition will take a decade for government and enterprise networks. We're in a race between quantum computers that can break encryption and the systems needed to defend against them. The first quantum computer powerful enough to crack RSA encryption could render current cybersecurity obsolete overnight. Let me show you what this means across industries. Drug discovery. Google's quantum simulation of cytochrome P450, a key human enzyme in drug metabolism, ran with greater efficiency than any classical method. This could cut years off drug development development timelines and save billions in pharmaceutical research. Financial services? JP Morgan's quantum algorithms for option pricing are outperforming Monte Carlo simulations in both speed and accuracy. The financial industry is expected to be one of the earliest beneficiaries of commercial quantum computing. Materials. Science. Researchers used quantum simulation to solve a 40-year puzzle about quasi-crystal, proving exotic materials are fundamentally stable through atomic structure simulation. This opens the door to entirely new classes of materials for batteries, superconductors, and aerospace application. Artificial intelligence. Quantum machine learning is transitioning from theory to practice, particularly in areas where traditional AI struggles with data complexity. The convergence of quantum computing and AI could unlock capabilities we can't even imagine yet. But here's the challenge nobody's talking about, the quantum workforce crisis. There's only one qualified quantum professional for every three open positions globally. McKinsey estimates we'll need 250,000 new quantum professionals by 2030. U.S. quantum job postings have tripled since 2011. Universities are scrambling to expand quantum education from doctoral programs to undergraduate and certificate levels. MIT went from 12 quantum students in its inaugural year to 65, with executive education programs now available online globally. The UN declared 2025 the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology, recognizing this as a civilization moment, not just a tech trend. Cloud-based quantum platforms are democratizing access to quantum computers, letting students worldwide develop quantum skills without expensive infrastructure. Companies like SpinQ are building dual-track systems for both education and industrial application. But here's what keeps me up at night. Quantum computing stocks have gone absolutely insane. D-Wave, quantum surge 3,700% in one year. IonQ jumped 700%. Regetti Computing gained 5,700% in 12 months. When you see returns like that, it means one of two things. Either we're witnessing the birth of a transformative technology on par with the internet, or we're in a speculative bubble that will devastate unprepared investors. Here's my read. Both things can be true. The technology is real. The breakthroughs are legitimate. The applications are coming faster than anyone expected. But the market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent, and hype always outpaces reality in the short term. Several quantum companies are going public in 2025-2026. Inflection is merging with a SPAC at a $1.8 billion valuation. Psy Quantum is eyeing a 2026 IPO. SpinQ is preparing for Hong Kong or Shenzhen listings within 18 months. The smart money is positioning now, not chasing headlines after the technology is already mainstream. So what does all this mean for you? If you're in tech, finance, pharma, logistics, materials, science or cybersecurity, quantum computing will fundamentally reshape your industry within the next five years. If you're in government, or critical infrastructure, the quantum encryption threat is real and you're running out of time to prepare. If you're an investor, 
understanding which quantum approaches will scale and which applications will monetize first is the difference between generational wealth and devastating losses. And if you're just trying to understand where the world is heading, quantum computing represents the next fundamental shift in human capability. Not like the internet, which connected us. Not like AI, which augments us. But like fire, agriculture, and electricity. Technologies that don't just change what we do, but change what we are. The next three years will determine whether quantum computing becomes a tool that empowers humanity or a weapon that divides it. Whether it cures diseases or breaks global security, whether it democratizes breakthrough science or concentrates power in the hands of whoever builds the first truly fault-tolerant quantum computer. This isn't just another tech trend. This is the biggest leap in computational capability in human history, and you're watching it happen in real time. I'd love for you to hit subscribe so we can keep you ahead of these changes together. Share this video with anyone who needs to understand what's coming and drop a comment. Are you excited or terrified about quantum computing? Because honestly, I'm both. Let's embrace this quantum age with eyes wide open. See you down the next rabbit hole.